Yeah, if you're reading this, you know it is if the as attraction assistance pass, is it a good pass or is it a nightmare? Well, let me put it this way. Kong, Reign of Kong was about roughly a 60 to 70 minute wait, give or take. Um, what they did was they gave our family, it has... Steve's name, how many people are in our party, can we do stairs or not, hey Amber, and it's valid for, through today, and what they do, and that's the beginning of this, next you have to have this area, getting ready to, you present it to the person, uh, like the person who at the gate, they see, um, how long the, your arrival time, the current wait time, and a return time for anything 30 minutes and up. Now, what uh, like our arrival time was 11:35. The wait was 60 minutes, and they uh, told us to come back at 12:20. Hello to the next viewer. And all we had to do was present this. Present this to the gate, and we were able to use an alternate entrance. So Matthew and Aiden did not have to wait in, a, in an extremely long, long line, which is something, if you know my kids in particularly, if you know them, hello to the other viewer. Oh, hi, Ashley Ann. You would know that autism, you can't really do lines really well. Let's be honest here. I will be completely honest. We had we've been having a wonderful time, but you always have that bystander who's staring at if they don't know that the child has autism, they're going to stare at your kid like it's and giving the look that any of us ASD parents know so well and it's like go ahead and take us on for 5 minutes. But the staff has been wonderful on this. Now, here is the thing. The reason why they have these types of passes, and we're using it in conjunction with our Quick Cue pass. Reason why they have them like this is because there has been abuse on the system for a very long time. Let's be completely honest here. More people... A lot of people will fake an invisible illness like autism or anything to get past the line. That is why a lot of places are cracking down and seeing who really needs them. SeaWorld, what they do is they'll, um, they'll give you a quick cue disability pass also. And the thing is, is they will put down what your child's what your child's height is and what rides they can go on meaning according to their height not to their disability so you so you can't get away with not taking your child on that ride uh, now Disney's has it a little bit different if I remember correctly and Disney's was not a fun experience I think Steve and I are waiting for their uh, disability pass to tweak out a bit more now, I'm just letting people know why Steve and I do it like this is so that parents like us can have that reference. Is this vacation, this type of vacation, something our child would like or would it be more like I'm going to hit the bar a lot that vacation? Just make sure you do that on a weekday. Another recommendation, just because this is common. Uh, Try to hit your vacation if you're an ASD parent on a weekday because it is a slower crowd. You ha you'll you still have crowds. Or you can't bypass it. But it's not as crazy. Now, I got to check out because we've had a wonderful day, but it is 5 o'clock somewhere. And, yes, I'm having a beer. So, you guys all have a wonderful day. I'll post more later on. Bye.